Alright, this is gonna be a weird way to start off an episode, but I'm gonna hold a note. Just see how long I can hold this note, okay? Three, two, one. Uh... Time, Jesus, I have no idea what to make of that. Anyways, this is the time you're trying to agree to like some more legitimate Binding Wise Agreement of challenges. Hopefully, that intro wasn't annoying enough for you to click away. So, this is the solar system in which you are blindfolded, you cannot fire any tears at all, but you have to deal with all these flies that buzz around to do your damage. If you want to do the most damage, you gotta go for the red fly because they do a lot of constant ticks of damage, whereas the blue fly attacks a little bit less frequently. I that is probably no point in looking for item rooms, because I already said it's only 1 in 10 to have item rooms. Which makes a lot of sense. Whoa! That's wacky. Thank you, Dingle, for being whatever you are. If I remember, I think all you need to do is get to just the depths too. But I'm not sure if that's correct to assume. Oh, look at that! Damage and range. What I needed. If I get BFF or, like, the, the flies rule, whatever... That'll be the most useful part. But it's probably not going to be useful. What? Okay. Oh yeah, forgot. Because, technically what we have here is a situation where we start off with Beelzebub. So what this does, it makes us set all flies, all normal flies, turn into blue flies. Like you just saw. Thank you, Paige, for being as useful as you are. So, basically what happened was, all those flies... They are, they used to be, ah, uh, what flies are they supposed to be, like the red ones, I think? They just kind of explode straight away and turn into blue flies, that's pretty much what happened there. Which is silly, to be honest. But otherwise, fun fact, if you're flying, you only take half a heart of damage if you go into one of these rooms. And that is pretty much a good thing to pine, to pine and find. Because, not only... Do we find some interesting information involving a cat as a space bar item? But every room will get more flies. Therefore, we'll be able to take off a little bit less or more damage per room. And if we find batteries or 40 hour energy pills, man, that's gonna be a lot more useful in that respect. The heart I can't pick up. Sounds familiar. Or is that true? I, I don't know. Is there a heart I can pick up? Oh yeah, with, with Keeper, because they don't exist. The only thing that exists in Keeper's worlds are coins. You don't need health when you've got money. Or no. None of that, because you already held a note for like six seconds at least. Man, that's like a multiple layered Sunday cake. I don't even know. Red patch? Yeah, why no? Well, the red patch does, it's similar to, uh, Samson's Blood Rage. So, that sums it up. Get these ghosts out of here, these little haunts. These little haunts are not necessarily the greatest part of the fight, but they are pretty much always the one thing that gets me dead when I'm trying to do a lost run. Which is not nice. And here's the uh, Devil Room. One of those? No? Okay, he Hematomesis? I guess, leave some hearts in there with you. Goodbye, Satan. Nice seeing you. Yay. For that, at least I know. Uh, catacombs. And I know for certain that it is the catacombs that's making these weird noises. Because every single time, it keeps coming into this room, and then the noises start up. And the worst thing is, I can't blow up that golden poop, which sucks the life out of me. And energy. Stuff like that. In fact, now that I think about it, what's the statistics on the win ratio for these challenges? I think I beat Pitch Black. I didn't beat the um, Highbrow or the other one. Highbrow or the Head Trauma. I didn't beat those two. Then there's Darkness Falls, which I didn't beat. And then there was the tank, which I didn't beat. So, I'm at this point where 
If I beat this challenge, I'll be third. I'll be one and three of these challenges. Just silly. Because I need to prove myself with 30 challenges to see if I can check out my ratio. With one try at least. And it shows you how difficult the challenges can be. And with some of the ones that go more quicker, or quickly, you're definitely going to get more than one attempt on that. Case in point, speed. Speed's going to take a while to get through. For at least one video. Because it's, it's annoying, really. It's just annoying. Other challenges, though, they're alright. I mean, some challenges I actually really love. I can't wait to get to level, uh, challenge 11, because that's actually, that's actually one of my favorite challenges. Chapter, challenge 11. Chapter, what? We can go through and check out all the stuff in the stores, though, I guess. Help down, you bastard. I wanted something efficient from that pill, and you just give me a health down. What if I came over to your house and I'm just like, you are getting a bruise, bruise up, and you just punch someone in the face. And it's just like, why do you do this? And I was like, because I got a health down, you need to bruise up. It's like, well, alright, but that doesn't affect me in any way. But it doesn't matter because you are the one who's directly responsible for getting that health down pill. So you need to pill, uh, bruise up, friendo. Book of Belial, you useless, because I don't have any ta tears, TRs, you know, one of those things that just kind of happens at some point. Surprising how fast this is going. Oh no, this goes to uh, Mom's heart, because I see from the map, it's not a smaller map, so it keeps going. Caves too. There's going to be a point where I start taking whole lots of damage, isn't that going to be swell? Very swell, even. Oh, the halo flies don't even do any damage to these spiders, so I'm gonna have to be sure to be careful in rooms like this. Because the only way to attack are with these flies, and that's the whole point really, it's a challenge. Because if it weren't something stupid like this, well you're gonna end up with not that much money. Or patience left at the end of these videos. But, try all you might. You can just do whatever the hell you want. And provided you survive at the end, that's all that matters. Because you beat it. And you got an item as a result. If you don't beat it, well, screw that. That's not nice for anyone involved. Anything here? No. Guess I'll pick up this. And that. And the battery, why not? I need more flies to garden my stuff. Because you need to garden stuff with flies. I, I don't... I wish I knew. I mean... There is nothing that I could relatively say about this series at this point. Unless I start talking about some other stuff too. But there's no way I'm gonna get near it with the red fly because that thing's gonna explode. See, I know my stuff. To a degree. Why not at this point? Why not? Because that's what you want to see. You want to go up to a chest and be like, Hey, can you get me something that's incredibly useful? And I'm like, yeah, sure, here. It's a goat's head. Alright, that's fine. It'll be to get stuff after every floor. I'm okay with that. And here, here's another chest. It's like, whoa, what's inside this one? You go in there and it's just a bomb that wants to kill you. It homes in on you. It's like, why'd you do that to me? Because I can. Why'd you do that? Because you can. Because it's funny. It's like, why would you do that? Because it is funny. I already told you. And then you just kind of shoot the guy in the face and then you don't worry about it for like the last 20 minutes. Find a hole to ditch him in and everything's just fine. You don't get any repercussions because you're one of the police officers that did it in the first place. And don't even tell me that police officers haven't killed before because they definitely have. And there have been points where police officers have turned into serial killers. Definitely true. I know Rob Dyke, he tells me all the important stuff about the serial killers and the other stuff too. How's quaint? Oh, I thought that was gonna be one of the explosion ones. Oh, this is great, because he tries if he tries to spawn some of the other flies, it's gonna end up spawning more flies to attack him. That's great. Don't. So much damage just being taken to him. See look at that, more blue flies. Notice how the, with the red fly, it's a constant stream, but with blue, it's, a, it's more or less a ticking. That's just more 
of a relation between the two, just in case you didn't know. More stuff like this. Ends up with two, two sets of spiders and a bomb. Thanks, Devil. I'll keep you in the know. And if I end up not going that far, well, let's just say I blame you. Acropolis. It's a pretty cool Acropolis. Metropolopolopolis. Back in Hoover Dam. Don't need any of that. These guys can do whatever the hell they want. I will be surprised if it ends up that this is not going to be useful. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't need to waste a bomb. Devil deal, I don't want that. Give me what's ever in here, friend. Bob's brain. Bob's root and head. Well, I didn't need to do that. I guess we have something. I I have little to explain as to why this is. But lucky that it's here, because elsewise I would probably have nothing to do. And we'll have to take damage anyway from leaving that room. Thanks, Greed. That was the one thing I wanted. And also thanks to Bob's Rotten Head, because, well, if I didn't have Bob's Rotten Head, I probably wouldn't have discovered the thing in the first place. And there's also random blood splots coming from nowhere! How spooky! So that was nothing important. Oh, there's two! There's two! Can we get a third one? Perhaps can we get a third one? Because if that happens, then life's gotta be just peachy and, and swell and dandy. Bony can go away efficiently, please. I don't even know if it's gonna be entirely useful because there's still the chance. It's still a 50 50 chance no matter what with the Guppy's collar thing. So we're probably gonna end up with, well, a chance of leaving back with two health. Leaving back. Getting back with two health. I guess. That's what you want to happen. I'm okay with that. But providing the situation, you gotta be careful. Case in point. Because if you don't have carefulness, stuff like that will happen. And it happens pretty frequently. Because you're not paying attention. Hey, Bony Room! Sounds fun, Bony Room, Bony Room. Yay. No. Oh, and it's a double trouble boss fight. My favorite. Love it. Love it. And if you'll excuse me, game, I'm looking for a Mr. Shopkeep. I hear he can be found on this floor. Just not later down. Well, it makes sense that you can't find any shops later down because, well, you're in your mother's womb, and then you're in hell! Or the cathedral, you never know. You can't find a shop in the cathedral nowadays, can you? Or can you? I don't know. Uh, don't ask me. I don't patronize myself. Don't go to Sunday school every day. I'm not a religious. In fact, I bought hardly even bother with religion, to be completely honest with you. Is this because I bashed religion? Game? Is this because I bashed religion? Don't do this to me. Really. Oh well. I guess that's it for today then. That was the solar system. Not necessarily that much of a solar system to be completely honest. But in the next episode, we have Suicide King. With the unlock being... The Suicide King! Doesn't that sound like a fun episode at the end? Right? See you in part 7 of the Challenges playlist. Bye.